Five tonight, the Portland Police Bureau's rapid response team is back after it was disbanded in 2021. The Bureau says they've made changes to how the team is managed and how they respond to public safety situations like riots. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy is live outside of the Portland Police Bureau headquarters in downtown Portland to tell us more. Connor? Well, Pete and Riel, those changes came about from a mandatory report that stemmed from a lawsuit filed by the U.S. Department of Justice. They filed against the city of Portland in response to how they responded to the, the protests in 2020. Now, there are 12 recommendations in that report, and Portland police say that they're leaning, leaning into them very heavily. And one of the biggest changes is that all officers on the team will be required to wear body-worn cameras. Portland Police's rapid response team is back, but the Bureau says it's a little different than what we saw in the community in 2020. The city has an obligation to preserve public safety and support accountability when criminal behavior occurs. Independent Monitor LLC did an independent review of the Bureau's response to the 2020 protests. They outlined significant failures in the city's response to over 100 nights of unrest. Even so, the final report says the rapid response team is necessary for the Portland Police Bureau. Our role in all of public order is to ensure that we protect democracy. And part of that, of protecting democracy, is ensuring that individuals have their rights um, upheld. Craig Dobson, a commander with Portland Police, says there is now a structure in place to defuse situations at potentially violent events where officers would need to use force. The most recent example of this layered response is the pro-Palestinian protesters at the Grand Floral Parade. First officers wear these white police liaison shirts try to build communication with protesters and attendees of the parade. When protesters started to escalate and disrupt the parade, bike officers in yellow and black shirts intervened to defuse the situation. They also have the power to make arrests, which officers did when protesters tried to disrupt the parade route. Now, if an event gets out of hand and riots start to erupt like in 2020, that's when the team's crowd control unit will step in. Number one goal is that we will continue to be diligent in transforming the dynamic between the police and the people we serve. The team is made up of a diverse group with many people of color and women. PPB says they reviewed all applicants' history looking for any complaints or disciplinary actions. About half of the team of 50 is made up of those who are on the old rapid response team. Another important change is all officers on the team will be required to wear body-worn cameras. Some of the team members were at Thursday's press conference, and they say they're ready to get to work. We believe in the mission and the purpose uh, and goals of this team. Um, we, we highly you know, believe in, the law, in supporting those lawful activities uh, at these events and, and, making, and, and really believe in the uh, importance and purpose of, of maintaining public safety, uh, peace and order at these events. I think that's our overall uh, um, motivation and goal uh, to returning to this team.